Hey, what's up guys? My name is DJ Acro. I'm going to put together a little screencast here for you guys on how to set up your iPhone or your iPad so that you can use Touch Oscillator and Oscillator to control Serato Itch. It was kind of pissing me off that all the videos were people just showing them demoing their thing and not actually how to set it up and it was kind of frustrating so hopefully this will alleviate some stress for you guys since I figured it out myself. Uh, if you guys want some of my mixes, want to check out my music or just be a fan, you can click on the link in the description below and join the fan page. That would be the greatest gift you give me is become a follower. So starting off, I mean obviously we'll assume that you have Serato Itch. Obviously from mine you can see I have a 4 deck controller. I'm actually pimping the Zone DX which I think is by far superior to everything else. So if you only have a two deck uh, controller, um, this will still work. You're just rolling off a two decks instead of four. Um, so kind of we'll just take it from the top. Obviously you've downloaded Touch OSC for your iPad or your iPhone. I only have an iPhone so I'll just give you the gist of it. We'll also go over how to um, create your own little layout and then map all the buttons to the SP6. So since you can't really MIDI map in Serato Itch, you're really just using the bottom row of keys Z, X, C, V, B, and N to control the SP6. It'll do basic keystrokes that you might want within uh, the itch program. So, starting from the top, we'll assume that you've been on the Touch OSC site, which is right here, um, and that you've gone through the setup, the basic one. Obviously, you've downloaded the program and the editor, which is right here, and then you can also go to uh, what is the documentation here? Yeah, just start right here at the top intro, go through all of it, get it up and running, get it working. Um, it also gives you a download link for some PD. Uh, this one, the pure data. Um, I kind of went through this, I got it all set up, but I never got it to uh, work 100% with um, itch. So that's why I went back, go to Oscillator, you can go to oscillator.net, you can come in here, you can click on download or right there, and download the free version. Uh, eventually you may want to upgrade to and pay for it because if you continue to press the buttons and everything like that, um, it'll stop you every like, I don't even know how many pushes it is, but it's like, hey, it freezes you from working from the from the touch OSC working and so it kind of forces you to buy it if you want it to work on demand the entire time. Okay, so you've downloaded those two, you got this. So what we're gonna do is, actually we're gonna go to the editor. So you have this, when you come into it, if you wanna make your own personalized layout, you can do this, it's basically a blank canvas. I'll give you the short version of how to do it and then I'll show you the one that I've loaded. So layout orientation, iPhone or iPod touch or an iPad, obviously I'm just doing an iPhone. Horizontal layout, you can name the page if you want to. You come over here, you right click, you pick out exactly what it is that you want. Um, pretty much for the SP6 you just want to push button which means you just push it once and something happens. Toggle button meaning you know you gotta push it once to turn it on, another time to turn it off. X, Y, fader, the V stands for vertical, the H stands for horizontal, rotary knobs, encoder, battery, time, multi-push, multi-toggle, which usually has like five by five, as you can see right there. You can come in here and kind of stretch it out if you want, um, and it gives you all these different parameters up here that you can change. If you're using the SP6, obviously we need six of these and not five. So what I did is I came through and I did six push buttons, and you can make these whatever color you want as well. So it's totally customizable. You know, there's five, there we have five, six. I'll highlight all of them. If you right click on one of them, you can go through and you can center them horizontally or vertically. You know, I kind of just threw them down here, you know, like this, three, four. You can align them on the bottom, boom. They're all pretty much, you know, lined out pretty good. Um, and distribute them equally as well as if you want to. What I did is I went through and I took these name here, up here in the name, uh, you might want to make sure it's push one because you know each one is this is going to be button one as slot one, slot two, slot three. See so that one says six, five, four, three. So you could go back and rearrange them if you want to, or you can just go through and be like push three, 
push four. And this is all going to tie in later on once we go over to uh, oscillator. It's going to make more sense. So you might as well save yourself the hassle and just change it to the right number of numbers in sequence, one, two, three, four, five, six. That way you're not like banging your head against a wall. Okay, so you got the color. You can change the colors if you want to. X and Y means, you know, where it's going to be within orientation within the layout of the screen. Height and width. Uh, I went, what did I do? Did I do, I think I did 140 maybe? No, oh, maybe that's wrong. I think I did 90 on the width and I did 100 on the height. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it's 4100. Like that. And that was about the right size. So 90 by 100 was the right size. I did that all six times. You can tab through this and make it easier, you know. Get them all lined up. Do all, do all of this stuff. You know, get them all lined up. I'm not going to do everything for you. You guys get the point. So get it all centered in there, looking really good. So you'll have, you know, slot one, two, three, four, five, six. If later on you want to throw in some more, you know, push buttons, so I put one up here for like a space bar. You can put the labels in here too. So that way you can put, you know, slot one. Down here is where you put the text for the label. So here's one. And the size, I think I made this one 40. Like that. So that way later on, you know, you can get the number there and it's all centered there perfectly. Anyways, you get where I'm going with this. So I'm just going to open up the one that I have already opened. And this is the one that I made earlier. So as you can see, I have sample player, slot one, two, three, four, five, six. I have a record button. doesn't work yet. Spacebar does work perfectly. So then what you do is you click sync. Obviously, your phone should be loaded. You should have Touch Oscillator open within your iPhone or your iPad. You, you go in, and um, unfortunately, I can't record this for you on the screen, but it shows you how to do it. You, it's very straightforward. You go into the phone, into the settings. You do the layout. You click Add. It'll say, what's your host computer? Your Hopefully, your computer will pop up. You select that one, and then the this will be loaded right into your iPhone. You click Done, and that's exactly what I am seeing on my iPhone right now is what you see right here. Okay. Anyways, so now we've got this done. You've got yourself a layout. You're ready to roll. Now we got to move on. So now we have Oscillator. You've downloaded the program Oscillator, and you're going to go through, and we're going to map all of this stuff. And so when you hit the button, you can see, and you can hear it here. It kicks out some song. And once you get it loaded, right, it's in there. But we're going to pretend like we're starting from scratch. So start with a new one. And actually what I'm going to do is we'll pause this. You want to make sure you're on port 8000, which if you try to run two different things on port 8000 at the same time, it won't work, but just for sakes purposes. So we're going to start at the top. We're going to hit sample slot number one. It shows up. Number two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This one is my, see, and this is what I'm talking about right here. This is probably the reason why you're going to wind up paying for Osculator. <laughs> uh, obviously, I haven't either. So we'll just wait uh, 11 more seconds here. It's always good to have a beer in the left hand just for instances like this. Nope, not yet. Go fuck yourself. Okay. So we have this space bar. There we go. Okay, we hit space bar. Boom. So now what we're going to do is we need to do the event type which is we're going to be doing a key combo and you can highlight all of these at the same time. Key combo. Okay, because that's what we're doing. It's basically an itch if you would be hitting a Z, X, C, V, B, N, space bar, whatever. Here's the value, new value. This opens up, what are we going to do? So first one, we're going to start with sample player, slot one. It's really a shift and a Z, okay? If you just put the Z in there, it's not going to work even though it would work even if you had caps lock on, it doesn't work. You've got to have Shift-Z. Okay, boom. There's one. Now we're going to go through and add them all. Shift-X, which would be the next slot, right? Add one more. Shift-C for the third slot. Shift-V for the last slot. And we'll do one more. We'll do the space bar. Um, you hit space bar, and you're good to go right there. So then you come back here, and we're going to do itch. 
That way it knows that whenever you're running this program and whenever you hit Z, it is directly directly linked to itch and not anything else. It's not like just some catch-all, whatever screen you might be on. So there's itch, okay? I always I can never get this bastard to work on uh, default as itch 2.0, but at any rate, it doesn't matter. At any rate, so now we can go back. Oh, okay, here's the value. Sorry, I'm retarded. So now we got to go put those back in here. So push button one is going to be Z, X, C, V, and then down here, spacebar will be spacebar. Now we should be in business. So when you see the green, it works. When it flashes green up here, as you can see, you can hear tambourines working. Right? Okay, good. So we got all this stuff. So obviously, as, as you can see, we have all of my different slots right here. We got my build. Right? Spacebar works. Spacebar works, so you could technically have something working. I can cue the buttons, hit them, space bar, you want to go back to your waveform. Right there, like fucking money. So hopefully that helps you guys out, alleviates any stress, um, and hopefully you'll get what I'm doing over the screencast and don't actually need a video of me like moving my uh, iPhone around. At any rate, once again, my fan page is located in the description. If you want some free mixes, check out my videos. I'm the Acrobatic DJ. Um, love house music, and that's what I do. All right, take care.